Hello and welcome to Beto Vlog number one. Today, I am in the process of converting this old pallet into a work desk. And it has a ways to go. The other side is much better. Um, but I am removing some of the old boards on the back. And then we are going to be trimming it out and sanding it down and then applying a sealant to it so it looks real good. I don't think it'll all get done today because it's after three. Three? Three. Three. It's three. But, so the first step that I'm going to do is remove these excess nails that are just sticking out. I could use a hammer and pound them in, but why would I do that? Let me hurt myself, potentially. I like hammers more. Oh, it did come off, though. See, the character's about... It brings character using old, crappy nails. Eight foot two by fours to make four foot legs. And now I need to find the trim, which is expensive ish. Next, I am sanding down this to make it nice and smoothish, and then we'll be adding a, a poly varnish type thing so it's nice and clean, it's clear, um, so it'll still maintain. Look at all these freaking colors, man. It's a pretty cool palette, but I have to get it flat, which is going to be an issue. sides of this so it kind of wraps it it looks nice it should look nice ish we'll see though i gotta put it on don't know how that's gonna go this wood's real dry i'm gonna have to pre-drill it real dry normally you want to use a pencil so you can actually see it but luckily i have these handcrafted bought from a website williams inspections pens and the way you Hey, this is my appearance. Now back to your regularly scheduled programming with Coulter. I'm missing so many bits. My bitties are all over the place. Are we going to talk about your messy car? Let's not talk about my messy car. That's probably where all my bits are. I don't know, man. I feel like we would see them by now. Body butter? Yeah. My cousin built that and he wants it back. Usually I'd use much better screws, but I can't find a bit to fit my trim screws. So we're using drywall. All right, so we got, ah, oh, splitter. Oh, it fell out. See, I already got gun gutted. Gun gutted. Jeez. Um, so now that we got these edges up, we just need the pieces on the side and it will be framed in. And then it's the epoxy time. So now I am pouring. Epoxy. Light it on fire? I could have burnt it. It would have probably looked really cool. And just spread it. This is also why we couldn't do it inside. I love the sound of a 
wash rag streaking itself on uh, some I don't know wood well planks. This, this might not work well either because it's so cold outside. It's pretty nice out today. It's better than it has been. Wear gloves when you do this. This is also not how you're supposed to do it. This is not a DIY. No, this is a vlog. <laughs> can I, can I drink it? No, not advised. Not advised. All right, so it's in place. It's not what I had hoped. It doesn't look very good. It's too big. We had to cut the legs off. I made it too small now, but it's too late now. But I'm committed. It's not bad. There's a ton of space, which is the problem that I have with my other desk. And this varnish stuff does look pretty good, actually. It makes it look permanently wet. And all my stuff fits on here instead of all spread out. But now I gotta figure out what to do with all my other crap that's spread out. But thank you for watching Building with Beto. <gasps> <gasps> That will be our new name, probably, for uh, segments like this. But it is done. It is usable. The next video will be much better. And uh, we'll show you actual progress and something that looks better than this hot garbage. But it'll work for my office. All right. Don't forget, Season 3 of Welcome to Today coming soon. Very soon. Check that out. Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. <laughs> Thanks, guys.